Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about regression analysis. So, this video is uh, taken from Unit Seven, that is Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research. From the subject Nursing Research and Statistics, this video is useful for B.Sc. Nursing students. MSc nursing students and post basic BSc nursing students before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the topic regression analysis see mostly this regression analysis is important for msc nursing students so in msc nursing students they will teach how to do the calculation also but in bsc nursing students it is very less important but in one university question paper they have asked regression analysis for 5 marks suppose if your question comes for regression analysis for 5 marks what is the answer you have to write that alone i have discussed in this video so let's see what is regression analysis Introduction to Regression Analysis The father of Regression Analysis is Carl F. Gauss The father of Regression Analysis is Carl F. Gauss 1777 to 1855 The term regression was first used in 1877 by Francis Galton Who used the term uh, regression in 1877 It was first used by Francis Galton What is Regression Analysis? Regression means back, stepping back or going back so regression analysis means it is a study of the relationship between the variables that is two or more variables so here you are studying the relationship between two or more variables it is one of the commonly used tool in business analysis so it is one of the most commonly used tool in business analysis thereby you can predict the future how in the past how the business has performed and based on that you can plan the future and you can predict the future uh, uh, income or loss profit everything you can see by means of this uh, regression analysis uh, so that's why it is widely used in business uh, meaning of regression the meaning of regression as i have told earlier it is stepping back or going back Importance of regression analysis, it provides an estimate of values of dependent variables. So, you can uh, know the estimate of values of dependent variables. It can be extended to two or more variables. You can study the relationship between two or more variables. That is why it is called as multiple regression. Okay, It is called as multiple regression if you are going to study two or more variables. Then it shows the nature of relationship, what type of relationship, whether you have a positive relationship or negative relationship, in what direction the relationship is uh, going on. So, everything you can uh, study by means of regression analysis. It shows the nature of relationship between two or more variables. So, types of regression, you have simple regression, linear, reg multiple regression, linear regression, non-linear regression, simple regression. So, only you are explaining one single variable. Okay, here you are explaining only one explanatory variable or single variable. Multiple regression, many variables you are studying or many explanatory variables you are studying in multiple regression, two or more variables you are studying. Next is linear reg regression. Here you are studying a linear means line, straight line relationship. See, in correlation also you have uh, told about a uh, uh, linear correlation, positive correlation. So, a linear correlation where you can um, draw a line after plotting the uh, data. Similarly, in linear regression, it also shows a slight line relationship. So, here the formula is y is equal to mx plus b. y is equal to mx plus b in linear regression which can be represented graphically. Similarly, non-linear regression also can be represented graphically. It implies curved relationship. So, here it is a straight line relationship. Here, here it is a curved relationship uh, that is logarithmic relationship. Next to cross-sectional data, you know that is a data gathered over here um, from same period of time. Okay, data gathered from same period of time. Time series means data gathered for over a period of time that is at different uh, points of development or different points of time you are um, calculating. For example, if you want to study the progress of BSc nursing students, first year you will be gathering the data. Then when the students, when the same students come to second year, you will be gathering the data and the same students, when they come to third year, you will be gathering the data and similarly in fourth year, you will be gathering the data. So, for each the time uh, limit is one year. Okay. 
Next, we will see the methods of studying regression. So, regression either it can be studied either graphically or algebraically. Algebraically means uh, using algebra that is formulas. So, graphically means free hand curve or least square curve. Okay, free hand curve or least squares. Algebraically means least squares, deviation method from arithmetic mean and deviation method from assumed mean. Okay, so here regression can be represented graphically or algebraically. In the graphically, you have free hand curve or least squares. Algebraically, you have least squares. Deviation method from arithmetic mean or deviation method from assumed mean. As I have told earlier, I am not going in depth because it is most important only in MSc nursing. But once they have asked a question in BSc nursing in 5 marks, that's why I am teaching this. Algebraically method that is least square method. So, the regression equation of x on y is x is equal to a plus b y. The regression equation of x on y is x is equal to a plus b y where x is dependent variable y is independent variable. So, the regression equation of x on y is x is equal to a plus b y where x is dependent variable and y is independent variable. The regression equation of y on x, y is equal to a plus b x. The regression equation of y on x is y is equal to a plus b x where y is equal to dependent variable, x is equal to independent variable. Next is deviation from arithmetic mean method. So here the regression equation of x on y is x minus x bar is equal to b x y into y minus y bar x minus x bar is equal to b x y into y minus y bar the regression equation of y on x is y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar regression equation of y on x is just write the opposite of x on y like that okay y on x is y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar where b x y and b y x is equal to regression coefficient see this b y x b x y everything is what regression coefficient b x y can be calculated as summation of x into y divided by summation of y square b x y that is b x y regression coefficient of x on y is equal to summation of that is sigma x y divided by sigma y square and b y x is equal to sigma x y divided by sigma x square ok so in this way you have to uh, calculate the regression equation of y on x next method is deviation from arithmetic mean we have seen this is deviation from assumed method mean method assumed mean method deviation from assumed mean method when actual mean of x and y variables are in fractions it, if it is not a whole number if it is in fractions then you will be using this assumed mean method okay so the same formula only the regression equation of x on y is equal to x minus x bar is equal to b x y into y minus y bar the regression equation of y on x is equal to y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar so let's see what is the uses of regression analysis it is widely used in the field of business as i have told to know the past income profit or loss and to plan for the present as well as the future how the performance will be of the business the profit loss everything you can study by means of this regression analysis it is also used in sociological studies and economic planning so how it is used in sociological studies and economic planning so based on this you can calculate the birth date death rate everything or you can plan for the pro programs okay uh, policies everything you can do by means of this regression analysis so it is also used in sociological studies and economic planning hope this video is clear for you all this video is for five marks question i am not uh, uh, teaching about how to calculate the problems and all because in msc level you will be knowing how to calculate the uh, problems and all for bsc level mostly they are not asking this question but once i have seen in one question paper they have asked about regression analysis suppose if they have asked about regression analysis you should know at least what you have to write for five marks so for that purpose only exclusively i have uh, made this video if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in um, 
description box suggested the end card and i called also you can watch our channel playlist nursing research and statistics for both nursing research and statistics related videos and statistics for statistics related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel